The new beginning brings Kevin Keegan to new surroundings. When he was last in management, the Emirates Stadium was just a shell. When last in charge of Newcastle, it was barely a thought. Well, Arsenal were given plenty to think about in crushing defeat at Tottenham on Tuesday, and Arsene Wenger has responded by rotating to the tune of seven changes, including the returns of Philippe Senderos and Gael Clichy after minor injuries. Up front, Emmanuel Adebayor claims bickering rights over Nicholas Bentner, who is among the subs. Newcastle could barely field ten outfield players last week against Bolton, but they do have Nicky Butt and Alan Smith back from bands today. A new captain, Michael Owen, starts a fifth successive Newcastle match. It's his longest injury-free run in the Magpies side yet. It's cliche. Through for Fabregas, who's onside and got to it. Shea Gibbon. Didn't come storming out of his goal. And it was a tame effort and an easy one for him to save in the end. Great chance for Arsenal. Owen. Caught by Senderos. Challenge from behind. The advantage, though, is with Newcastle United. Milner. Too far ahead of Smith. Damien Duff hasn't given up on that yet. Duff jinxes his way past Walcott to fire in the cross. Now it's in Sorpia. Might just try and shoot. He's taking on everybody to at least win a corner for Newcastle. Off Gallas. Bright stuff this from Newcastle United. It's obvious corner. Kasapa didn't get a touch. Alan Smith has a go. And it's cleared off the line by Gail Clichy. And Smith's hook. Looked as though it was heading in. And that's the advantage of keeping a defender on the post and there to head the ball away. Clichy did his job. Nicky Butt. Now James Milner, who stayed tight to that right-hand touchline throughout so far. Stephen Carr. Milner. Smith. Back for Carr. It's flowing football, but Owen can't find the finish. And this is good. Milner, Smith and Carr all involved. I think Gallas just did enough to put Owen off. Clichy. Diaby. Strong for Milner. For the second time. Footwork from Diaby too. Clichy. And if he all tried to get the touch and Given pulls the ball away. Newcastle now can scramble it to safety proper. Great ball in from Clichy, Adibior only needed the faintest contact. And he sits free on that Newcastle bench, well, no space for an assistant it would seem. And Shearer and Kevin Keegan will resume their talks next week. This is Walcott, as Enrique is following him way out of his left-back zone. Now he has to get back, the Arsenal attack is on the other side at least, it's Diaby. Super tackle from Bunt, and the bounce defeats Steven Taylor, chance here for Eduardo, it's straight at Shea Given. Steven Taylor smiles, it's a smile born out of relief, he made a real mess of it. Eduardo instinctively lashed in the volley. That goes out of my own. Here's the Keegan tactic, go the other way. Nicky Butt. No Milner. Carr oh, was caught by Clichy. Good kick right on the touchline. Taylor is up into the penalty area. He'll be joined by Kasapa in a moment. <laughs> by Insogbia, headed away by Senderos. Strange head of that from Eduardo. Might give a chance to Duff, and now Taylor, chance to loop it over Lehman. But it's over the top as well. Onto the roof of the net rather than in it. Taylor all alone. Realised Lehman was off his line and did a little too much with it. Perhaps needed to direct it towards that other corner. Lehman was struggling. 
Alison Wenger insisted after Tuesday's defeat and the dickering, if you can call it that, between Adebayor and Bentner that it was something that could improve the togetherness of his playing squad. Derby has Clichy running past on the outside. Four in the centre. Up goes Adebayor. Just glanced off his forehead. Would have been just his sort of goal. But above Kasapa. Not a bad bit of defending, actually. Flamini. Diaby holds off Taylor. Shooting chance now. And Gibbon tips it over the bar. Splendid save. Lovely bit of control. Great shot, too. And it's the best save we've seen of the afternoon. Flamini. Fabregas, lovely weighted touch to Eduardo, off the post, Taylor still not away, it's Adebayor trying to wriggle his way through! Picked his spot perfectly! First effort from Eduardo, came back off the woodwork and Adebayor had to be patient, had to work his way through into a scoring position, and he did it brilliantly. That's a wonderful finish as Adebayor nets Arsenal's 100th goal at the Emirates Stadium. Diaby. Eduardo. Walcott to the right. Walcott has the pace to get away from Jose Enrique. Taylor clears as Adebayor waited to pounce again. Walcott in again. And it's all a bit panic stations now from Newcastle at the back. This is Diaby. This is Adebayor again. Super tackle from Milner. I'm sure Nicholas Bentner has all but forgotten what happened in midweek. He'll have celebrated that goal as much as any Arsenal player. Honest. I get my tongue from out of my cheek, yeah? Car in. Smith helps it further in. It's Michael Owen. Appeals for handball. Strong appeals too. And did Michael Owen have a case here? I think Senderos is trying to get his arm away. Duff. It was behind Enzogbi. Lamini put the brakes on to make sure the ball didn't pass behind him. Played up briskly by Fabregas to get a collision. Four in the centre. Fabregas the first in the chain. Lovely dink into Eduardo. And a good block tackle. Prevents Arsenal getting clear daylight in this game. Great dummy from Clichy, completely bemused Milner. Look at the way Kasapa flung himself in at the boot of Eduardo. Fabregas finds it in. Adebayor will challenge and climb above Taylor. Eduardo didn't get a clean contact. Senderos just gets enough on that. Clear. Adebayor. He's got the better of Taylor. And he's past Rosenal as well. And he's in on goal. And Adebayor has finished it. On more than one occasion, it looked as though he'd made a mess of it. But he knew exactly what he was doing and found the gap. It actually goes in off the unfortunate Steven Taylor. I think it would be most unfortunate if anybody took that goal away from Adebayor. He's on one of those runs that every striker enjoys from time to time. Takes his tally for the season to 18 and counting, rapidly rising. Welcome back, Kevin. Fabregas. Misery. And Nicky Butt cuts a disconsolate figure as he troops away. An inviting clip in from Fabregas and perfectly finished by Butt. Cleishan. 
Chance has ghosted into the penalty area. Now Adebayor in for the treble. Oh, Gibbon got himself in the way because Saffa did too. And this second 45 minutes has belonged to Arsenal and in particular to Emmanuel Adebayor. 18 goals for you this season already. Is that the sort of target you were looking for, or, or do you not set targets? No, no, no. At the, scenes, the beginning of the season, I always say that I'm, I don't set a target. It's the most important thing is keep on letting the goals. And at the end of the season in May, I don't know whether we went to the Champions League final or not, but at, in, the, in the end of the season, I will do my calculation and we see how many goals I score. But the most important thing is the team have to win something. That's what I'm fighting for. That was our last chance of winning anything. Terrific support, which... It shouldn't be accepted at any club and, and a given, but it, but it is at Newcastle. And I think they'll be pleased like I was with the first half performance and a little bit baffled how the same 11 players can come out and not quite get it going second half. It wasn't easy at all because Kevin brought them uh, drive and uh, belief as well in what they do. And uh, A team reflects always the personality of, uh, of a manager and uh, you could see already that uh, he has brought something in there. There's a role for Alan Shearer at Newcastle United Football Club and, and he's going to come back to me on Monday. I don't want to pressure him. I laid everything out to him that how I saw the club. He told me all his views and we had a great conversation about Newcastle United, a club we both love and I, and I think a club that we could both can help, you know, me as manager. At this moment in time, Alan has really whatever he wants to come in and, and do because you know with Alan Shearer he is going to pick a, a role that's worthwhile he's not just going to come in and you know make a cup of tea you know so because you know his character as well as I do and eventually Alan will manage Newcastle United Football Club and, and the best way I think for him to get there is, is to come inside and, and really get to know it even more than he does now you know we know it a lot both of us but we don't know it all